Hi there, Psych2Goers. Welcome back to another video. Before we start, we'd like to thank you for all of the support you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. So let's begin. Have you ever compared your handwriting with your friends to see how different it is? Like fingerprints, no two share the same handwriting. The way you loop, cross, and dot your letters can actually say a lot about your personality and mindset. Although handwriting analysis isn't foolproof, it can still give you some insights into yourself. Try writing out a sentence. We suggest the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Then keep watching this video to see what your handwriting says about you. Number one, the size of your handwriting. Did you know that the size of your handwriting can represent the level of self-esteem and self-awareness you have? It's one of the more reliable things to look out for since it doesn't change too often over time. Large handwriting may show that you're outgoing, people-oriented, and that you wanna feel understood and noticed. On the other hand, small handwriting may mean that you're shy, detail-oriented, and meticulous. Handwriting that is average in size shows that you're well-adjusted and adaptable. Two, spacing between words. Do you leave a large gap between your words when you write? According to a study by Klein, the distance between two words can show how close or how far you feel towards other people. If you write with wide spacing and gaps between your words, then it may signify that you enjoy your freedom and dislike being overwhelmed. On the other hand, leaving a narrow spacing between words may describe those who dislike being alone. Three, slanting of the words. Did you know that the slant in your handwriting can tell what personal qualities you have? The tendency to slant to the right means you're sentimental, open to new experiences, and you're someone who highly values their friends and family, while slanting to the left may show that you're more introspective, reserved, and you're someone who prefers to work behind the scenes. If you write without slanting at all, then you tend to be logical, practical, and pragmatic. Number four, how are you dotting your eyes? How you dot your eyes can say a lot about you. Adding your dot way above the eye shows you have a great imagination, while adding the dot right over the eye shows that you may be more detail-oriented, organized, and empathetic in what you say or do. If you use a slash instead of a dot, then you may be overly self-critical and have little patience for inadequacy. And adding circles instead of dots signals a childlike curiosity and a want to be a visionary. Number five, the way you cross your T's. Similarly, the way you cross your T's can be telling of your ability and persistence to achieve your goals. Crossing at the top of the T indicates that you have good self-esteem and are ambitious, and you set big goals. If the cross is in the middle, then you tend to be confident and feel comfortable in your skin. Long crosses show that you are determined and enthusiastic, even if you may be stubborn at times, while short crosses show that you may lack the determination to complete tasks. And number six, type of margins. Do you leave a large or narrow margin when you write? The amount of space you leave can say a lot about your outlook and attitude towards life. The width of the left margin represents your view of the past. So a narrow left margin shows that you base most of your actions and views on your past experiences, while a wide left margin shows that you are keen to move on from your past to embrace the future and be open to new experiences. Similarly, the right margin can be telling of your attitude to the future. If you leave a narrow right margin, then you tend to embrace the future and are sociable and adaptable, whereas a wide right margin shows that you're more cautious about the future and prefer the current stability you have. So what did you find out about your handwriting? Tell us about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with others who may find it interesting too. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and notification bell icon for more content. All the references used are also added in the description box below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.